<laughs> Go on. Does Smooth Cement versus Rich Brick Walkways make a difference with canes? It does. Honestly, I'm walking down that pavement and I could be stabbed in the gut by my long white cane at any moment, catching me off guard. And then I get all in a tizzy and then I'm like, <laughs> and it kind of wins you guys. I'm not going to lie. If the pavement's really broken up, I tend to use a massive roller ball because I use the constant contact technique um, because I'm totally blind. I'm always having that cane on the floor. So I have a roller ball. That just means that the, the bigger the roller ball, the more it can go over dips in the pavement. But really it's not ideal no matter what cane you have. Uh, big potholes. Other cane users will echo this sentiment. Please write in the comments below if you also use a cane. But I honestly think that you don't go out for an enjoyable walk with your cane. You go out with your cane if you have a necessity to either feed yourself, go for a coffee, meet someone, um, and you're definitely going to do something for me a cane was an object finding tool so it was every, loads and loads of stuff was just in the way you know you'd tap things and you'd know a lot more about your environment than say using a guide dog um would give you so whenever i'm doing new routes i do go and use my cane first because it's something that does find every object for you however it would make me way more tired it would give me headaches this is why I'm a guide dog user. Um, obviously, every blind person is different, so this is just my experience. However, my cane is very tiring because of the, the reasons that I've listed. So, um, you know, you would go out with your guide dog just for a bit of a jolly stroll. I'm always going around the block with Molly and just kind of, you know, having a breath of fresh air at lunchtime. Whereas I wouldn't really choose to do that with my cane, not gonna lie.